Hi, this is Claire Lauer. I'm a professor at Arizona State University, and I'm presenting to you about the Arizona Water Chatbot on behalf of my co-authors, Stephen and Brianna. We don't have time to go into the research questions that we will be talking about in our paper and in our presentation, but I thought I would bring them up. They are, how can we build a bot about water and drought in Arizona that can maximize accuracy and usability among quite a bit of uncertainty and represent multiple perspectives? Also, what are the pros and cons of custom-built bots versus GPT packages? So rather than spend time answering these questions, we thought we would demonstrate the bot for you. This is the chat bot. On the right-hand side, we have an introduction to the chat bot and information about how it works, frequently asked questions and resources. And then in the main area, we have an introduction by our mascot, Blue, and we have an area where you can type your question. Some of the context to keep in mind here is that in Arizona, we're in the middle of a 20 year mega drought and there's a lot of misinformation and just an overall lack of information about what people can do to benefit themselves and their communities and what actions they can take to help rectify the situation. So that was the impetus behind building the bot. And if we want to type a question here, Maybe I might say, are we running out of water? And because we trained this bot on Arizona resources, it knows that we are referring to the situation in Arizona. So we used hundreds of PDFs and websites from municipalities, tribal communities, agencies, government um, agencies, and, uh, and organizations as well. So that's where the bot is primarily getting its information. So because of user testing, we found that people preferred to have shorter initial responses. So we have a short response here, but it brings up quite a few issues that you might want to follow up on or ask um, a follow-up question about. The other option you have, if you don't want to ask a follow-up question, is that you can choose one of these options, short, detailed, or action items. And the action items response is supposed to provide people with things that they can be aware of or things that they can do to help the situation. So if we click on action items in response to this general question, we might get something like this. Here are three action items you can do to implement, to contribute to water conservation efforts. So reduce water usage at home, participate in water conservation programs and educate yourself and others about water. So thank you very much for your time. We hope to see you at our presentation.